What is going on? I bring to you another video today, and today it's a review on the Marvel Legends Colossus. Now, this is from the Build-A-Figure wave, the, the Warlock, but I mean, we all identify this wave as the X-Men wave, which is what it is. Um, this figure has been, was really hard to come by, but, um, you know, my, my, my boy on the Syndicate page, uh, Calvin Vallejo, he hooked me up. You know, we had a trade. I traded him a Spider, Spider-Man 2099, and he traded me this guy. And uh, if you're watching, Calvin, thank you very much, man. I, I appreciate it. I probably would have never come across this figure again because I haven't seen him in the wild. Um, the places that I've been hitting, all I've been really seeing is just, uh, you know, Polaris, Sunfire, and then uh, Shatterstar. But anyway, let's uh, let's get on with uh, the review. So let's get a good look at the at the box. Um, as you can see on the sides, we have the artwork here. Uh, same thing as the other side. Uh, if you want to pause it right now, go ahead. And then let's get a look at the back it's not really much of a description as I would like but I mean it is what it is honestly like if Toy Biz was uh, still making these figures we would have gotten a comic book with this so <laughs> but no this is still a, a cool figure um, now let's get it out of the box and take a look so here he is out of the package, and already I can tell Hasbro did a really good job with this figure. Um, I'm really, I'm really excited for this guy. Uh, the sculpting that they did for him, I mean, it's really amazing. Let's see if we can get that. All right. So, come on, pick it up. There we go. Come on, yeah. Focus. So as you can see, the, the sculpting in his arm, I mean, that's not paint, that's actually, uh, they actually sculpted that, which is which is amazing. Um, from the looks of this, uh, it looks like it's a new body mold, most of it. Maybe the body might be from something else? No? There's Colossus' butt. <laughs> um... I, I think this is a new I think this is a new figure a new sculpt but this is awesome uh yeah you know the the head uh, it's got that it's got that traditional uh, Colossus head um I know that some people were complaining that they said the head is too small for the body eh, maybe it could have been a little bit bigger but I mean I, I'm okay with it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let's get into uh, his articulation. So he doesn't have the double jointed uh, elbows. He does have the double jointed knees. So he can kick back like that. Can kick that that much. His leg can't go back though. One thing I will say is he does feel kind of hollow. Yeah, he feels kind of hollow, which I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't plan on uh, throwing him against the wall or anything. <clears throat> uh, his arms can go out like that can't do the splits all the way but I mean come on this is Colossus this is the powerhouse he ain't gonna be doing those splits he's gonna be throwing Wolverine at at people and smashing through stuff <laughs> but I mean yeah the Hasbro did a really good job with this guy I'm really glad I have him in my collection you know ha Hasbro they they knock it out of the park with figures you know, some figures and then other figures, they kind of drop the ball with where they just, they get lazy and they'll use just, uh, just another sculpt and just repaint it, maybe, uh, redo the head. But no, from, from what I can tell, this guy looks like a new sculpt. I might be wrong, you know, correct me in the comments by all means. Um, 
the pieces that he comes with is an extra head. His bearded head. Can you see that? Oh shit. Okay. Focus. Come on, focus. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, he comes with a bearded head. And what's cool, what I really like, is they they made his hair metallic and his beard metallic. And then, of course, he's got the white eyes. He's got the white eyes, which is cool. Looks like he just came right out of the the cartoon, <laughs> but I like how they how they made his hair metallic. That's really awesome. Um, the bearded head though, I don't know why they gave that. I mean, it's cool that we got it, but I've never seen Colossus with a beard, unless it's like in comics that I've never you know I haven't seen which. You know, I'll be honest, I haven't read a crazy amount of comics, you know, like guys like Plastic Attic, but, you know, I, I've read my share, and I've never seen Colossus with a beard, but, you know, that's pretty cool that they that they included that. Uh, really, really happy that we got that. Uh, and then, of course, you get the Warlock, you get the Warlock head, and the Buzzsaw. Now... <laughs> This Warlock character, <clears throat> he did appear in uh, the X-Men cartoon. It was in uh, Season 5. That if, you, uh, if you look it up, it's the Season 5 X-Men cartoon from 1993. And it was the, this uh, alien race called the Phalanx. They were invading, you know, they came to invade Earth and, you know, to take it over. And then this guy, Warlock, uh, was basically the only good one that was helping uh, Beast and uh, Mr. Sinister. And who else was it? I don't remember. But the main ones were Beast and Mr. Sinister. Oh, and uh, Magneto. <clears throat> Magneto, Beast, Mr. Sinister. Um, and then this guy, Warlock, or Alien Warlock. They uh, basically came up with a, a plan to um, wipe out the, the Phalanx race. But uh, this guy was uh, pretty goofy. Uh, I liked I liked him. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that, that Hasbro's giving us this figure. I mean, was he in the, the other comics? He might, I, I guess he, he was, but I mean, I mean, I remember him from the, from the cartoon, and uh, he was pretty cool, and I'm glad we're getting him. But yeah, he comes with uh, the buzzsaw, and then of course his head, which I I do want to finish building this build a figure. He is really cool. All I'm missing from it is just Sunfire and Polaris, but <clears throat> that should about do it for the review of uh, Colossus. Really awesome figure. If you see him in stores, I mean, if you do, pick him up because he is awesome from the wave uh so far most of the figures are awesome from the wave i don't really have you know i don't have uh sunfire and polaris but i've seen them in stores and from what i've seen they're they're also cool figures but this wave is pretty good um i'm glad that hasbro gave this to us um let's do a size comparison so i have juggernaut right here and Juggernaut is still a little bit bigger. You know, they Hasbro could have given us Colossus as a build a figure, but I'm really glad they didn't. I'm glad, you know, for some people, they might just want to get Colossus because we haven't gotten another Colossus in a while, and I'm glad that Hasbro gave us that that option just to get Colossus by himself, which is very cool. Um, and then you, you actually get three different uh, three different heads, so. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, head swap. So 
So there he is with his other head, the beard. Now let's see what he looks like with the warlock head. And it does fit. <laughs> so there he is with the warlock head. <laughs> and I mean, he looks <laughs> he looks pretty cool just like that. <laughs> so definitely pick this figure up. It's really awesome. Uh, no complaints here. And that will about do it for the review. If you like what you see, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends. Tell anybody. Um, I really appreciate all all of my subscribers watching. Uh, I will see you in the next video.